This right here is a neat little stove. You can see how small it is. And the cool thing about it is the fuel is denatured alcohol. And so what you do, you take this cover off right here, just unscrew the lid and set that to the side. And you can see I've already got some denatured alcohol inside. And then you just set it on the stand, just like that. And then you just light the stove. All right, so you can see the flame coming off the stove. And I've got a pot of water here, so we're gonna see how long it takes for this stove to boil this pot of water. So now I'm just gonna hit start on my stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes. Now, one thing you wanna note about all these stoves that I'm gonna show you today is that they're all designed to be used outdoors. So if you're using any of these in an emergency situation, make sure you use it outside in a well-ventilated area. All right, so it's been just about nine minutes, and as you can see, we now have a boiling pot of water. And to extinguish the flame on this stove, it's real simple. You just take the cap and just throw it right on top. Make sure it covers it really good, and that extinguishes the flame. Next, we have this portable dual fuel stove by Gas One, and it comes in this nice case. When you take it out, you need to flip this over, just like so. The cool thing about this stove is that it can use butane or propane, which is pretty cool. Um, so first, I'll show you how to use butane with it. And for the butane, you just need to get these uh, cartridges like this, eight ounce cartridges. This is what it looks like. And all you do, open up the stove, make sure the stove is, of course, the stove has to be off and this needs to be up in the unlock position. And all you do is take your, your butane canister and Push it in right here, and then close it. So then we push this lever from unlock to fuel lock. Okay, so you heard that hissing noise, and that means the canister was not installed properly. So when you put the canister in, you see this little, this little notch right here? This needs to be turned to go fit where this lever is right here. Now it's in there properly. So let's try it again. We'll push it down to fuel lock. So now we don't hear that hissing noise. That means the canister is installed correctly. So to light this stove using the butane, so we've got it in the fuel lock position. We don't hear any hissing noise, which means it's installed correctly. All we have to do is turn this knob all the way down to this ignition switch right here. And as you can see, the stove lights right up. Then to turn it off, all you do is just turn this to the off position. In order to use the propane, of course, we need to take this canister out. Um, in order to do that, we have to move this lever up to the unlock position. And that releases the canister. So we'll be able to take it out. And to take it out, it's real simple. You just pick it up at the back and Lift it out. Then to use propane with this stove, we have to attach this small little adapter here. And it goes right here where that other canister was. And again, you have this little cutout and that's what goes right under this lever to lock it into place. And then you just screw it on. Make sure that's good and tight. And now we close it. And now we just simply screw this into the side. Now you can hook up one of these one pound propane tanks. We don't use the, the lever here. This is just for locking the butane canister into place. And there you go. One thing you could do, instead of using the, the one pound, you could get you a hose attachment and attach this to a 20 pound tank. And that's probably what I'll do in the future. And speaking of propane, this is another great option. This is a Coleman propane stove that has two burners. And this one is super easy to set up as well. All you have to do is just screw this into the side right here. Just need to screw the propane tank in. Super easy to do. And 
Also for this stove, if you want to hook it up to a 20 pound tank, you can, you just need to get a, a hose attachment for that. And that's a great idea. And what I love about this is that obviously it has the, the two burners. Um, so you can have two things going at the same time. Also, I love this switch here. Um, so you don't have to worry about matches or lighter. So you just turn the burner on and get the gas going and flip it, starts right up. Same for the other side. Starts right up. This stove right here is probably my favorite one because of the size and it uses propane. I have a ton of propane. Um, just hook it up to a 20 pound tank and this will cook for a long, long time and get you through a power outage. You can also get you just a little stove like this. So all you do is just screw the stove, screw the one pound propane tank right into the stove. It just screws right into the bottom of the stove. And then all you do, just set it right in the stand, just like that. You hear the gas, then lights right up. So this is a great option. Say, you know, you don't need a big stove, you just need one, and you like using these one pound propane tanks, this is a great option for you. Now, if you're in an extended power outage, say for a long period of time, and you're running low on fuel maybe, you're running out of your propane, another great option is a rocket stove. And the cool thing about a rocket stove is you can use anything for fuel. This is for your airflow, and this right here is where you put, um, you can put a bunch of sticks, um, you can put charcoal in here, um, you can use anything for fuel, like I said. It comes with this little tray right here you can use for feeding sticks into the stove. And so this is a, a really great option if you're looking for a solution for a long-term power outage. I highly recommend looking into getting one of these rocket stoves. So I'll leave links down in the description box below if you wanna check out any of these stoves. And be sure to check out this next video and I'll see you there.